What's up, YouTube? We are back with another episode of Bari Builds. And this time we are putting new wheels on this girl's Tesla Model Yay. X. <laughs> Stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. All right, so today we're gonna be changing out the factory Tesla wheels and tires that came with the Model X with some pretty cool STR racing wheels that I'll show you guys here in a minute. Um, but yeah, these, this car only has about 7,000 miles on it. And you can see the Tesla wear pattern on it. And on the outside, it's kind of weird how it's worn pretty good right there on the outside. Usually Tesla's wear on the inside of the tire. So it's kind of uncharacteristic. I don't know if maybe they swapped the tire around, but let me show you guys these awesome new 22s we got going on here. Oh man, white with the black face, STR Racing. They make these specifically for the Tesla with the staggered. We got the 10 inch wide wheel in the back and the nine inch wide wheel in the front. And we chose the Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric tires are going on there. The rear ones are 285, 35, 22 with a 106 um, load rating. And then the, uh, the front ones are the same. They're just a 275, 35, 22 with a 102 load rating. So I think I got, yeah, this is the both of the back ones right here. So the two fronts are up front in the bed. So we're gonna get these out. Okay, so before we can even attempt to take the wheels off, we have to take these fancy chrome lug nut covers off the factory wheels. Cairo has volunteered for that job, mm -hmm. right? Yep, All I'm right. using this tool right here. Yep, that tool goes so, in. In. And you push it until it clicks. Yeah. And then you pull it out. Got it. Ah. And we put a piece of my ram floor mats down so when they come crashing down on the concrete they don't scratch so you got to do that 20 times <laughs> All right, Cairo's got all those fancy caps off, and as you can see, they're just normal lug nuts in there. Mm -hmm. So we'll get our tool of choice today, just a normal four-way. I got an impact, but man, I just like using the four-way sometimes. So that's what we're gonna do this time. All right, so with the tire, the car on the ground, we're just gonna break these loose. So if they turn, I'm using the 13, 16, well, I thought I was. We're using the 13 16 slash 21 millimeter side of the four way. And we just break them loose. Mm -hmm. Just so you're using the weight of the car to your advantage. So it doesn't move. And they're all broken loose. So before you do any of that though, you've got to put the car in jack mode, which is on the main screen here. Just press service, and then you see jack mode there, and you can actually feel the car lower down a little bit. So now we can go get started. All right, so while Cairo works on the lug nut covers in the front, he's already got three of them off. I'm gonna come back here and tell you guys about these Tesla pucks. Got these from Amazon. They're just little pucks that go on the undercarriage of the car that you put your jack on. So your jack, doesn't actually touch the undercarriage of the car. It touches this rubber bushing, so to speak. And there's just three little areas right here. The puck goes in the center hole right there. Just like this. Like that. And then you put your jack here. And you can jack the car up. Okay. 
All right, so now we're going to proceed in taking all five lug nuts off. They should twirl off really easily. And uh, once you do that, then the wheel will be free. All right, time to take this tire off. Get all the lug nuts off. Slide off really easy. And you can just compare the height. Should be right around the same height as the ones we are putting on. Yep, I'd say so. All right, guys, the next step, we're going to check out the center board of these wheels. As you can see, this factory wheel has a center board that mates right up to the hub itself, but the aftermarket wheel has a bigger bore in the center. So you wanna research that before you actually start your wheel project to make sure that uh, the wheels you want will actually fit on your car. Uh, but you're still gonna need a little tool, and these are called hub-centric rings. They're uh, just little rims of either aluminum or plastic and they take up that gap. So the inside of this actual um, hub centric ring is the same diameter as the factory hub bore on the wheel that comes with the car. So it just takes up the space and they just go right here in the center. We're gonna use the plastic ones this time because they slide right in perfect. And then that inside diameter actually fits right on the hub of the car makes it so nice to be able to center the wheel. You have way less vibration, if any at all, when you're going to aftermarket wheels and tires. All right, one more thing I wanted to point out to you guys before we actually put that wheel on the car is notice the lug nut size. The hole of this bore in the wheel for the lug nuts is a lot larger on the factory wheel than it is on the actual aftermarket wheel. So these lug nuts that come factory, they go right in there. And you can actually put your tool, your lug wrench in, whether you use an impact or a four-way or whatever you're using, it'll fit down in there. Here, this lug nut will fit, but you can't get the tool in there because the hole's a lot smaller. So, you have to use a smaller diameter lug nut and you want it to be decorative. So we got some nice shiny black ones that go right in there. And um, yeah, they work with a key, it'll be perfect. First one's on, oh, man, does that look good or what? Just get your lug nuts kind of a little bit snug while the car's still up in the air and then lower it down and then snug them down the rest of the way. Make sure you read the torque specs on your car specific. Man, I can't wait to do the other three. It's beautiful. All right, stay tuned. So, what do you think? I love it. All right, riding in style. Yes. Kyra, what do you think? Uh, I, love, I love it. All right. <laughs> That's certified. All right, we did it. That's a wrap for project tire and wheel upgrade on the Tesla Model X. I think it came out great. Thanks to STR Racing for these awesome looking wheels. And we'll see you on the next episode of Bari Builds.